Hello and welcome. We're doing another question from Leak Code called Maximum Level Sum of a Binary Tree. It is a medium. Let's get started. Given the root of a binary tree, the level of its root is 1, the level of its children is 2, and so on. Return the smallest level x such that the sum of all the values of nodes at level x is maximal. Example 1, we have 1, 7, 0, 7, negative 8. We output 2 here. The level 1 sum is 1. The sum at level 2 is 7, and the sum at level 3 is negative 1. The max is at level 2, and we return that. Example 2, this is a little bit difficult to visualize, so I have a better depiction over here. The root node is 989, no left child, right child 10 to 50. Its left children are 98,000 something, negative 89,000 for its right. And this has a right child of negative 32,127. The sum at level 1 is 989, level 2 is 10,250, level 3 is 9,305, and 4 is in the negatives. So the max sum is at level 2, and we output 2 over here. So before we even approach this problem, what is this question asking? Return the smallest value x such that the sum of all the values at nodes of nodes at that level is maximal. All this means is that we want to return the level with the max sum. And if there are multiple, we just return the smaller level. So say level four also had a sum of 10,250. Instead of returning level four, we would still return level two since it's the smaller of the two. Now, how do we solve this? One way to approach this would be to go level by level and find the sum at every single level and keep track of that. So we have a maximum sum that we are going to keep track of and a corresponding level for that max sum. As soon as we approach a new level, if that sum is greater than our maximal sum, we update that along with the level that corresponds to that max sum. If we come across a level in which the sum is equivalent to our max sum, we don't do anything because we've already seen that max sum at an earlier level. And if that new sum is not greater than our max sum, again, we do nothing and keep traversing down level by level and finally return the level that corresponds to the maximum sum. This is a BFS approach. We go iteratively. And if you haven't, make sure you've seen my level order traversal video. It's the same exact concept. It's a super foundational video, not just for this video, but for future ones as well. A lot of the concepts we use really touch on that. So watch that video. It's a seven minute video. Watch it times two speed if you need to. But if you're with me so far, I'm assuming you've either watched that video and or you know how a level order traversal works. So that's exactly what we are going to do. To solve this iteratively, we're going to do a level order traversal. And afterwards, we're also going to see how to do this depth first search recursively. So for the first one, I have an example written up as well as the code for the iterative approach. And if you've seen my level order traversal video, it is same logic, same code with a few minor tweaks. So let's go through this same approach. As I mentioned, we just keep track of max sum, max level and return that level at the very end. So with this example, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We know we should be outputting three max sum, but let's see how it works with this code. So we start off with level number one. And our max sum would be the sum of whatever we have right now at this level, which would be the value of the root, because we know the root cannot be null. The level is just containing root. And the returning level, the level that corresponds to the max sum, currently is at 1, since this is the maximum sum we've seen so far. So while level is not empty, and it is not, that means there are nodes that still need processing. We go into this while loop. So in this while loop, we'll be building the next level. And the sum for this next level is 0. Once we're in this uh, while loop, we know that the level number is now 2. So we will be building this over here. And for roots in this level, if the root has a left child, we add this to next level and add this to our level sum. And if this root has a right child, we do the same thing. We append this to next level and add this to our level sum. 
Now we're out of this for loop. And if the next level is not empty and the level sum is greater than our max sum, so the sum at this level is 5 greater than our max sum, which it is, we update max sum and the corresponding level for that sum. So max sum is now 5 and the level that corresponds to this sum is now 2. And this is what we will be returning at the end. So now we update level to be next level. All this means is that now this level will be giving our children, so we can now build the level underneath that. We are back in this while loop since level is not none. There are nodes that still need to be processed. Next level is going to be empty again. Level sum is initialized to 0 once again. And we update the level number. We are now going to be building for level three right here. Four roots in level. So for two and three, if the root has a left child, we append it to next level. So two's left is four. Level sum is now four. Same with right. It does have a right child. So this is now five. And we add the right value to level sum. So four plus five is nine. And we have finished with root two. Now we go back in this loop with root three. It does have a left child, six, add this to level sum, 15. Same, it does have a right child, add this to next level and level sum. So we append this to next level and add this to level sum, 15 plus seven is 22. Now, if next level is not empty, it's not and level sum is greater than our max sum, we go ahead and update once again. So this is now 22. And the corresponding level for this max level is 3, our current level. Now we go ahead and update level to be next level. So this is going to be 4, 5, 6, 7. We are back in this while loop since level is not empty. Next level is empty. Level sum is back to 0. And now we are going to be dealing with level four, which we know is null. There are no nodes to be processed. So in here, for roots in level, there are no left or right children. So next level never gets appended to, level sum never gets updated, which means we never actually go in this if condition because next level is empty, level sum is not greater than our max sum. All we do is update level to be next level, which is empty. And now we don't need to go into this while loop anymore since level is empty. All we do is return our returning level, which is 3, and that is exactly what we were expecting. One thing to mention, we would actually never go into this if condition if our level sum was not greater than our max sum, because there would be no need to update max sum and the corresponding level. Say, for example, 4 had a child of negative 1 and no other nodes had children, then the level sum at level 4 would be negative 1, and it wouldn't be greater than our max sum, since level sum needs to be strictly greater than max sum in order for these updates to be made. So this is how to solve this iteratively. Let's go ahead and run this code. Accepted and submit. And accepted as well. Now let's see how to solve this recursively. So how do we solve this recursively? What we're going to do is go node by node in a depth first search way and keep track of the level at each node we go to. Then in a dictionary, we're going to keep the sum at the corresponding levels. And as we go through a node at a certain level, all we do is update that dictionary with that value. So we just keep updating the sum. How does that look like, right? So we have max level sum here. What we're going to do is have a dictionary first. So self level is going to be our dictionary. It's going to be a default dict of integers. And now we're going to call it helper. So self.helper, this is what's going to be building our dictionary. So we're going to pass in root and we're also going to keep track of level. Now let's make this helper. So def helper self root level. If root exists, then we add our value to the corresponding level in the dictionary. So solve.level at the level we are at plus equals root.val. 
So if the current root is at level 5, then whatever stored in dictionary index at 5, we just add to that our current root value because that's the value of our root at the same level. And now we do the same thing for this root's left and right children. So we call helper again, self.helper with our root dot left with level plus one and self dot helper root dot right level plus one. So after this line has complete, what we've done is updated our entire dictionary for the keys to be level and the values at those keys to be the sum of all the nodes at that level. All we have to do now is get the level with the max sum. And this is going to be a little bit of a language proficiency thing, but what I'm going to do is actually sort my dictionary. So sorted solve.level.items and key equals lambda x x of 1 because we want to sort this by values reverse equals true what this does is it sorts my dictionary by values reverse equals true so the greater values are going to be in the front and it's going to go in decreasing order now something else this does is say the values are all five in which case it's then going to sort by the keys by the level itself so if the sum of all the levels is 5, then it's going to actually sort by the level itself, which is exactly what we're looking for. The smallest level with the maximal sum, right? So we want to return the first element of this sorted output. So 0. And this output is going to give us level and the value at that level, the sum. But we only want the level, so I'm going to do another 0 here. And all we have to do is return that. So let's go ahead and run this code. Um, this actually doesn't need to be level. This wants to be 1 because we're going to be passing it in with the level of the root. So this is going to be 1. And then we do the left and right nodes, and this should be dot. All right, this looks good. Let's run code. Accepted and submit. And accepted as well. So let's run through an example for the recursive solution now. Let's take a look at this example right here. So going line by line, first we initialize level to be a dictionary. And now we're going to be passing in our root and level of the root, which is 1. So we start off with 1, 1 being passed into the helper. If root, it does exist, then we add this to our dictionary with the value. So 1, 1. And now we go to the left and right nodes. So we go left with its left child. So node 7, level 2. And then we would be going to its right child with node 0, level 2 as well. But before we can even get into this, we first only do the left, right? This is a depth first search. So we are in the left, and now we call the helper again. So if root it does exist, now we go ahead and update the dictionary. So at level two, we have a value of seven. And now we call its left and right child again. So this calls its left with node seven again at level three, because we add one to the level each time. It goes into the recursive call again. So if root, it does exist, we go ahead and update the dictionary. So at level 3, we have value 7. It makes a call to left as well. So its left child is none, and it's going to be at level 4. So it goes in here. The root does not exist, so it comes right back out. And now we call the right child. So the right child is called again of this node right here. Again, it is none, level 4. So it goes into this recursive call, but comes right back out. And we finished the left and right child of 7. So now we pop back up, and we have to do the right child of this 7 over here. The left has finished. So the right would be 
negative 8 level 3 because we add 1 to this node right here. Now we can go ahead and update level because root does exist. So what we do is at level 3, we see what the value is and add our roots value to that. So this is now going to be negative 1. And we do the same thing for this right child. We check its left, which is none and 4. So we come right back out. And we also check its right, which is none and 4. So we come right back out. And now we finished left and right for this node right here. So we're done over here. And we're done with this here. So now that left is done, we can now go back to the right we were on. So right is 0, 2. It does exist, so we go ahead and update our dictionary. At level 2, we add 0, so this stays 7. And now we do the same thing with its left and right child. So left of this would be none, level 3. So we come right back out. And the same thing again with its right child, none, level 3. It does not exist. We are right back out. And now we finished the right for node 1, 1 as well. And there's nothing else to do, so we return and pop back up from here. At this point, we've updated the entire dictionary to have at its keys the levels and values the sum at every level. At level 1, sum 1, level 2, sum 7, level 3, sum negative 1. What this does is it sorts by its value. So now what we're going to have is in decreasing order. So we're going to have 2 comma 7. Then we are going to have 1 comma 1. And then we are going to have 3 comma negative 1. And say we had, you know, another level of value 7 again. Say we had level 4 at 7. What this will do is it's going to keep in decreasing order the values, but in increasing order the level. So here it's going to be 4, 7. And that's exactly what we want, right? If there are multiple values, we want the smallest one. So all we have to do is return this first element, which will give us this list right here, and the first index of that element, which will finally give us the level we're looking for. So this is how the recursive solution works. For space and time complexity for both of these solutions, for the BFS iterative one, it is going to be of O of N for both time and space, because we hit each node once. And for the recursive one, time is actually going to be n log n because we do sort over here. And for space, it is also going to be O of n. If you have any questions at all, let me know down below. Otherwise, I will see you.